Suppose P and Q are the following statements. P is the statement Juan earned an A grade, and Q is the statement Sylvia earned an A grade. For number one, we're asked to translate Juan and Sylvia earned an A into symbols. Juan and Sylvia earned an A is the equivalent to the statement Juan earned an A and Sylvia earned an A. Let's quickly review the common logical connectives. Starting at the top, here we have the symbols for P and Q, and then we have the symbols for P or Q, and then we have the symbols for if P then Q. Next we have the symbols for P if and only if Q, and finally we have the symbol for the negation of P or not P. So going back to our first example, to translate Juan and Sylvia earned an A because of the and, we want the symbols for P and Q, which would be these symbols here. Next, we want to translate if Juan earned an A, then Sylvia earned an A into symbols. This is an implication or an if-then statement, and the symbols are if P, then Q. Next, we have to translate P or Q into English, which would be Juan earned an A or Sylvia earned an A, or we could also just say Juan or Sylvia earned an A. But I'm going to go ahead and give the statement as Juan earned an A or Sylvia earned an A. Number four, we're asked to translate if the negation of P and Q, then Q. The negation of P and Q would be one did not earn an A and Sylvia did not earn an A, or just one and Sylvia did not earn an A. And therefore the translation of if the negation of P and Q, then Q is if Juan and Sylvia did not earn an A, then Q, which is then Sylvia, earned an A. Before we take a look at number five, let's review converse and contrapositive. So down at the bottom here, we will assume the implication is if P then Q, the converse is obtained by swapping the conclusion and hypothesis, and therefore the converse of if P then Q is if Q then P. And the converse is not logically equivalent to the original implication. That is, if the converse of an implication is true, is independent of the truth of the implication. And then, again, if the implication is if P then Q, the contrapositive is if not Q then not P, and an implication and its contrapositive are logically equivalent, meaning they're both true or both false. Now looking at number five, suppose that we know that if Juan earned an A, then so did Sylvia, which is equivalent to if P then Q. So if we know if P then Q is true, what can we conclude if we know the following? For the first part, we are given Sylvia earned an A. And notice Sylvia earned an A is the statement Q. So the question becomes, if we know Q is true, do we know that Juan also earned an A? Meaning if we know if P then Q is true, do we know if Q then P? Well, if Q then P is the converse of the implication if P then Q, and the converse can be true or false when the implication of P then Q is true, and therefore for this first part, we can conclude nothing. Just because we know if Juan earned an A, then so did Sylvia, we don't know whether if Sylvia earned an A, then Juan earned an A. And for the second part, we know that Sylvia did not earn an A. So in this case, we now know not Q is true. So if not Q, can we conclude anything about one earning an A or not? And we can, not Q then not P is the contrapositive of the implication if P then Q, and an implication and its contrapositive are equivalent. So again, knowing that if P then Q is true, we also know if not Q then not P is true, which means we can conclude if we know Sylvia did not earn an A, then we also know Juan did not earn an A. I hope you found this helpful.